It's, it's hard. Yes. It's, it's hard today more than ever because you get so much pressure. People, like, especially during COVID, people ganged up on people. People were doing the man's work for the man. It's like, yeah. wh who the fuck are you trusting? Like, why yeah. are you trusting these people that have been lying forever? Yeah, man. It, it, it was wild during that time. Like, it, it, you know, people um, being bullied into doing things that they didn't want to do. A lot of them didn't want to do it. They they did it because of their work or their, yeah. you know, their um, and a lot situations. Or, yeah, a lot of them are, are hurting right now. You yeah. know, I know. You know, I know um, a guy that's, you know, been dealing with tinnitus since since he got it, and so I know, you know a lot it's, of it's people just, that got yeah, fucked up. Yeah. I know quite a few people that got fucked up. Some of them pretty bad. It's just it, it was just there was it, if you wanted to do it in a textbook way, like if it was a conspiracy, that's how I would do it. I'd isolate people, make them stay at home, take away their livelihood, make them scared, give them small checks, you know, get, and then give them this thing that you got to take to get back to normal. Want to get back to normal? Yeah. Go take that. Don't <laughs> worry. Safe and effective, safe and effective, safe and effective. And then you have all this pressure and everyone is yelling at you if you don't do it. If you don't do it, we're not going to get back to normal. And everybody got scared and everybody just f stepped in line. It was strange. It's strange. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, stepping in line sometimes is not the way to go. No, it's not always the way it's, to go. It's, you know, you're trying to prevent and trying to make things all smooth and easy and no issues and and back to normal and all that. And the world might be back to normal, but are you right. normal? Well, you got to be able to make informed decisions. Yes. And when you can't make an informed decision and you're being pressured anyway, it's like, what, what do you, how long? And it, this is the thing that was driving me crazy. Before the election, all, when Donald Trump was president, all they were talking about is, I'm not going to take the shot. You're going to take a shot that Trump made? Who's going to take that shot? Even Biden was saying it. Mm -hmm. well, who's going to take it? Kamala Harris is saying, they were all saying it. Don't take that. I would never take that. And then all of a sudden Biden becomes president. And they're like, you got to take it. Like, is this the same wow. thing? This is the same thing. You know how long <laughs> it takes to develop a vaccine? This is yeah. the same vaccine. Same one. You guys were just talking shit. And, you know, no matter who tried to give it to you at the end of the day, it wasn't ready. It's not ready. You know, six months no. to try to turn this thing into something effective. Um that was totally, you know, uh, experimental, totally experimental. Um, and everybody who who took it was was basically signing up to take an experimental drug. Um, and I'm not anti-vax. I've been vaxxed before. Like Me I've too. had vaccines. Um, they have had all of them. And, Everyone I was yeah, supposed to get. Exactly. Uh, but those have been. Some been around 80 years, some been around yeah. 50, 40. Um, and I just wasn't comfortable after six months. I was ready to take it. The UFC allocated 150 vaccines, I think, for all their employees. And this was when we were doing shows during the lockdowns. Yeah. So we'd go, there was a COVID bubble, you'd get tested, you get tested the day of the event. And I was there, and they said, oh, we got the vaccines. You want to take it? I said, yeah. So I, I, I called up the doctor. I said, hey, man, can I take it? And they, and they said, yeah, hold on. We'll, we'll set it up. I was going to take it, like, before the show. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just like a flu shot. Give yeah. me that thing. It's normal, right? And they call me up, and they say, no, we can't do it until Monday. Uh, we have to, it has to be done at the clinic. Can you, can you go on Monday? I said, I can't. I go, but I'll be back for another event in two weeks. Mm -hmm. said, okay, we'll do it then. And during that time, it got pulled. During the time, it got pulled for blood clots, and two guys I knew had strokes. Wow. Two guys I knew. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then I was like, okay, what is going on? And then my friend got it and got over it quick. And I was like, what's going on? My real estate lady had it, and she didn't even have any symptoms. She tested positive twice. And she's like, well, I got to isolate, but I feel fine. And then I was like, well, what is this? Is this a death sentence, or is this like, how many people are asymptomatic? Mm -hmm. And you find out like 65% of the people are asymptomatic. Like, what, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. And then uh, I knew some people that got it and got real, real sick, but they were fat or they were out of shape or they, were, they had other problems. 
And then I knew a few friends who were real healthy that got it. They got wrecked because they didn't take it seriously and they kept working out. So there was a lot of confusion. Yes. And, uh, you know, it was a lot, of, a lot of fear. But when I finally got it and I got over quick and then they started attacking me for taking horse medication, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Shouldn't you be more interested in the fact that this deadly disease hit this 55-year-old dude and he was better in three days? Isn't that more interesting? Like, why don't you ask what I took? Yeah. Like, why did I get better? What is it? Yeah, I wasn't vaccinated. Yeah, I wasn't vaccinated, but I, I got over it quick. So what's wrong with that? In any other fucking rational, sane world, when there's a disease and someone goes to a doctor and gets medication for that disease and gets better in three days, you go, oh, well, that's a way to get better from that disease. Yes. It's not that this is one singular thing that you have to do that I can't even do now because I already have antibodies. Like, this is stupid. It's crazy. And, you know, the thing is, is <clears throat> when money is the driving force and... You know, I, I don't know if they can even get money off of what you took. You know what I mean? No. Uh, it seems like something that's been around for a long time. That's just and, one of the things I took. And and and, and there's no money in it. Right. No, no new money in it. Yeah, so, zero money in it. So that's really what it's all about. You know, it's not about if it worked or if it's effective. It's about they can't make no money off yeah. of it. And we got this new stuff that we can make billions. So that's where the pressure comes from and that's why they pushing it that's why you have to think for yourself because money is driving these people to um give you bad advice or give you the wrong advice or or to hide um you know solutions and cures and remedies uh from you and and um you know you got to once once you peep that out, you have to st take a step back and make sure that you're you're following the money to make sure it's not. Uh, it's just so hard take to you do down. in the yeah. middle of a pandemic. That's why it was so hard because everybody was just like locked in their house and scared, especially in California. The the attitude in California was so much different than the attitude here. We came to Texas. I'm like, well, don't have a fucking mask on. This is crazy. Yeah. They're just out normal. Yeah, Cali. They went crazy with it. You know. I was using the mask really to, as a disguise. So like, I finally walked, <laughs> finally walked through here, and nobody asked for a selfie. You know what I mean? Cool. <laughs> so uh, 